analysis of aspirin. In this experiment, you will be titrating aspirin tablets with a standardized sodium hydroxide solution to neutralize the acetylsalicylic acid and any potential acid impurities. Then, you will add a known amount of excess base to hydrolyze the acetylsalicylate produced from the reaction of ASA and sodium hydroxide in step 1. Lastly, you will neutralize any remaining sodium hydroxide from step 2 with standardized HCl. Once you determine the amount of HCl used in step 3, you can determine how much of the excess NaOH added in step 2 remained in the flask after reacting with aspirin, and therefore the amount of aspirin that was present. This is the glassware you will need for this lab. All chemicals needed for the experiment can be found by the side bench. Begin by accurately weighing by difference an aspirin tablet into a clean, dry 250ml Erlenmeyer flask. Weigh the weighing bottle with the tablet on the analytical balance. Then, transfer the tablet into the Erlenmeyer flask and re-weigh the empty weighing bottle on the same balance. The video link in the description below contains a detailed description of weighing by difference. You will calculate the mass of the tablet by taking the difference of the two readings. Prepare the burette by rinsing and filling it with sodium hydroxide. Be sure to record the exact concentration of NaOH provided in the lab. There is a link in the description to a video detailing burette preparation and titration technique. Next, add about 25 ml of pre-chilled 95% ethanol into the Erlenmeyer flask. The ethanol should be cooled to about 15 degrees before addition. Swirl the flask until the tablet dissolves. You can use a glass rod to crush the tablet to speed up the dissolving. Remember to rinse the glass rod with a small amount of 95% ethanol before removing it from the flask. Some of the binding material from the tablet will not dissolve, but there should be no large chunks remaining in the mixture. Then, add two drops of phenolphthalein indicator to the flask. Titrate using the standard NaOH that was added to the burette. Remember to record the initial and final burette readings to two decimal places. The endpoint of the titration is indicated by a pale pink color. Once the endpoint is reached, determine the volume of sodium hydroxide that was needed to reach the endpoint. Then dispense this volume and an additional 15 ml of sodium hydroxide to the flask to hydrolyze the aspirin. For example, if it took 22 ml to reach the endpoint, we need to add 22 ml plus 15 ml, which equals to 37 additional ml of sodium hydroxide for the hydrolysis. Prepare a boiling water bath and heat the Erlenmeyer flask on the water bath for 15 minutes. Do not place the flask directly on the hot plate as ethanol is flammable. In the meantime, start another trial. You will be expected to complete a total of three trials. After 15 minutes, remove the flask from the water bath and allow the solution to cool to room temperature. Next, rinse and fill your burette with the standardized HCl solution provided. Back titrate the solution with HCl until it is no longer pink. If the solution turns colorless during the heating step, add two more drops of phenolphthalein before the back titration. Remember to record the exact concentration of HCl and the initial and final burette readings. The end point of the back titration is indicated by the disappearance of the pink color.